It's okay to feel alone. This is not home. And I ain't too proud to tell you that I cry sometimes. I cry sometimes about it. This really hurts me, but if the world was perfect, we would make it work, but I doubt it. Not only is the world not perfect, it's horrible. Right? This world that um, people are bringing children into is horrible. This is not the kind of world that you bring people that you love into. This is the kind of world that you protect people that you love from. Isn't that obvious? I ain't too proud to tell you that I cry sometimes. I cry sometimes about it. It's just a horrible world, man. If you've already realized that this world is horrible, you've done a good job. It means you were doing the right things. Because when we're never meant to realize how horrible this world is. We're never meant to realize how horrible this world is. We're never meant to realize what's right and what's wrong. We're just meant to just live like animals and, uh, you know, torture one another. A lot of people think I'm crazy because I don't want to bring you here. Acting like they do, but they don't really care. They'll hate you till you break and say you're mentally ill. Then give you a bunch of pills that make you mentally ill. A lot of people lie. I'm just keeping it real. Acting like they do, but they don't care how you feel. Many people are in jail because they were abused as kids. And we all know the apple doesn't fall from the tree. Ain't no love here. Many people are full of hatred. They just act like they got your back, like a wheelchair and the wheelchair when they are staring at your face, but they will tear you apart when you've gone away. I'm trying to save you from this and the thing that I'm selfish, which got me to think, they don't know what is selfish. They're bringing kids into a world that is overpopulated. There's no jobs, it's just wars. This world is overrated. And the 1%, they would be running this show. And there's nothing we can do. We just go with the flow. This world is cold. We're all on our own journey, so it's okay to feel alone because this is not home. It's okay to feel alone, man. And I'm too proud to tell you that I cry sometimes. I cry sometimes about it. And this really hurts me, but if the world was perfect, we would make it work, but I doubt it. It's okay to feel alone. Because the truth is that you are alone. You've always been alone. No one really understands you. No one really understands what it's like to be you. You are the only person in this world who views the world from your perspective. You understand that? So, you are really alone. You can't be too sure that other people are experiencing the same reality that you're experiencing. So the best way to view life is from like a solipsistic perspective. Because really, you are alone. You are alone in your own head. You don't know what it's like to experience life from other people's perspective. They don't know what it's like to experience life from your perspective. And... Sometimes, no matter how hard you try, other people won't be able to relate with you. Other people are not going to be able to understand you, especially if you are different. Especially if you are, like, really different. You see? Being different is actually a sign of intelligence. It's you trusting yourself enough to truly be yourself. You're like... I don't have to live like other people. I can do my own thing. I trust myself. Whatever I'm doing will work for me. 
I don't have to follow the rules. I don't have to copy other people because I'm capable of living my life the way that I want to live my life. I have my own ideas about life and, I, and about how life should be lived. So I'm not going to be copying other people. That's really a sign of intelligence. That, um, that's confidence. It means that you trust yourself. Growing up, I always felt alone because, well, other people didn't understand me. Other kids didn't understand me. My teachers didn't understand me. My parents didn't understand me. My grand grandparents didn't understand me. So I was like, dude. Like, I was always that kid that would always be debating with people around me because I would be saying things that they do not understand. To be like, oh, what do you mean by that? No, man, that's not how you should do things. This is how you should do things. No, that's not how you should think. And I would always be, you know, asking questions that people couldn't answer. So I always felt alone because of that. I knew I was different the whole time. You know, like, since I was young, I knew I was different. So I was like, okay. It means that I will have to come to terms with the fact that I'm alone. Because other people are not really going to understand me. And you know how other people are going to like treat you if they don't really understand you. You're going to always feel like an outcast. So what do a lot of people do? They try to fit in and they have to let go of some parts of themselves you see, to fit in. And if you lose your awesomeness just to fit in, I guess you've already lost. You got to be you no matter what, even if other people are going to hate you. If it makes sense to you to be yourself, be yourself. 100%. If, if, if when you look at the world, you know that you just need to be yourself. Be yourself. You cannot be a coward. You cannot be living in fear. All right? It doesn't matter how other people view you. All of this is temporary. You gotta understand that this, this, all of this will be over. You don't sure don't care if other people are judging you. They don't know what the heck is going on. It's not like they know what this is. It's not like they think they're right. You see? You see when other people judge you, it's not like they, they're 100% sure they're right. Sometimes you prove them right by being insecure. No, they... They don't know what to think of you. So they just say whatever, you know, whatever they want to say. And because we live in a society where most people are negative, they'll say negative things about you if they do not understand you, you see? So don't prove them right. Be yourself. And I'm telling you, if you are really going to be yourself, you're going to evolve. You're going to evolve. You're never evolving unless you are yourself. You can't. You can't evolve. You might not uh, be yourself right now because, well, you live in a society that lied to you. They didn't really tell you who you are. You know, they were forcing you to be someone that you're not. So you couldn't really be yourself because of that. Or you're just afraid to be yourself. So you know exactly who you are and who you need to be in this world, but you are afraid. If you're not going to be yourself for whatever reason, you're not going to evolve. You're going to stay at the same level of understanding and you're just going to be like everyone else and you're going to suffer more than you would if you were yourself. You see, becoming yourself is a lot of work, but trust me, the more you become who you really are, the better. Most people don't know who they are. They don't even know what it means to be a human. This reminds me of uh, the movie Ice Age, where there was this elephant. You know, this elephant thought it was... Uh, what's that thing? A mohawk? Uh, thought it was a mohawk. I don't really remember what the... Uh, yeah, what, what, the, the, what it 
thought it was, but I think it, it thought it was a morgue because it was raised by a morgue, right? It was raised by a morgue. So, yeah, I thought it was a morgue. When it would see natural predators of a uh, morgue, it would, it, would, it would hide, you know? It would not know that, hey, I'm powerful, I'm an elf, and, you know? I'm the true king of the jungle. It would just hide because it didn't know what it was. You see, we live in a world where we are not told who we really are. So we live in fear. You know, some of y'all are, are, are that powerful. That's why you, you're different. You're powerful, but you, 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 you're scared to be yourself because, well, the world programmed you to be a slave, to live in fear. You see other people judging you as if they know what they're doing. People do not know what they're doing, bruh. They have no idea what they're doing. So, if you feel like the world sucks, if you feel like other people suck, be alone and be okay with being alone. Be okay with being by yourself. Learn to enjoy your own company. You'll be surprised at how easy things get for you. If you learn to be alone, trust me, things will become much easier for you. If you're going to be alone and be okay being alone. You can't always be seeking for other people's approval. You can't care what other people think of you. You can't. You are alone. You are the only person who knows what it's like to be you. So be yourself even if other people are going to judge you because they do not understand you. They shouldn't force you to be like everyone else by making you feel like you're not normal. And that's a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. You shouldn't be normal. This world is stupid. That's one thing that you must understand. So if you're going to be normal, you become stupid by default. You see? So you shouldn't be normal at all. Like, being normal is being stupid. Do you really want to be like other people? Do you really want to play this game the way other people are playing this game? Have you not realized that other people don't know what they're doing and they've been messing things up for a very long time? Society has never been right. I want you to understand that. There's never been a time where society was actually right. There's never, that has never happened. Society has always been wrong and it has always crucified people who were right. If you're going to try to save society, you're going to be crucified. That's how it works. That's how it always worked. You see? So you can try to be like other people. Dare to be yourself. Even if it means other people are going to judge. Like, trust me, that's, I think that's how the Matrix tries to... control you by using people you yeah? know like they'll judge you and make you feel insecure i grew up uh being judged by people. and here's the weirdest thing most of the people who judged me when i was young wanted to be my friend like you know they later became my friend it's so so crazy you find that they judge you they judge you they judge you and you feel insecure but you keep on fighting because you know you need to be yourself and then you become yourself. And then, well, they find an opportunity to become close to you. And then they become your friend. You're like, what? Motherfucker, I thought you hated me. I thought you thought I wasn't shit. What's going on? So you can't trust these people. They're being used, some of them. Some of them are just jealous. Some of them don't know what they're doing, you know? It's not like people are smart. They are not, in fact, people who conform a lot are not smart. It's people who are um, original, who are actually smart. You know, like being able to see the world from your own perspective, you know, being a little weird, you know. Playing the game differently, that's, that's a sign of intelligence. All those people that will be looking at you and being like, ah, that one is crazy, ah, that one, nah, something's wrong. 
something's wrong with him, something is wrong with her. Nah, don't trust them. In fact, people who bully you, they never ever trust them. You know, people who think they can bully other people and that is okay, don't trust them. They're, they still need to grow. You shouldn't even respect them, you know. Don't respect them enough to allow them to make you feel a certain way. Because that's you respecting them. If they're going to come up with their stupid opinions about you and you feel bad because of them, you respect them. It's like you respect their opinion. So what I'm trying to say to you is that don't even respect their opinions. Respect your opinion. You know that you're intelligent. You know that you're right. You know that um, your height and mind... Are in the right place. You know that you 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 don't need anyone to give you approval. You know you don't need anyone to make you feel like you are right. You need to make yourself feel like you are right because you are actually right. You see, it's 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 truth. It's 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 something that is should be obvious. This matrix will always try to convince you. And you must look at it that way. Look at it as if it's some kind of a matrix. As if it's some kind of a simulation. As if it's against you. Because it is against you. This this society is not uh, meant for you know people who are going to be themselves. And who are going to stand out. You know, you're supposed to be just like everyone else. The same way that if you... Um, own the livestock. You wouldn't want uh, some of the animals to be themselves and to, you know, view things from that perspective. You know, like you would want to be able to control them. You know, that's when you make them feel normal. Like, yeah, yeah, that's that's exactly how they should be. If, if they try to misbehave, you'd want to punish them because the idea is to control them. So this society is like that. If you step out of line, if you play by your own rules, if you dress a little differently, if you speak a little differently, you know, of course you're going to be punished. Is it that's that's part of it. And it's it's always been like that. It's like it's been like that since the beginning, you know. If you speak with a little accent, it's a problem. If you you know, walk a certain way, it's a problem. If you like a certain genre of music, it's a problem. You see, so it's always been like that. So you must be more of who you are, no matter what, because society will try to confuse you by default. Like, people will try to confuse you, you know, even if you are right. And it has nothing to do with you not being right like if people like even if everyone is against you it has nothing to do with you not being right it has everything to do with uh, their own insecurities it has everything to do with um them being comfortable in their own prisons you know so they're like we are right i mean look many of us think that you're weird so we are right it's obvious that we are the ones uh, who are right you you're wrong you can you, you cannot be the only one who's right and I remember my mom would tell me that when I would tell her about Christianity she'll be like do you think that the church elders are wrong like you 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 are much younger than them so you think these people are wrong like yeah uh, they are actually wrong it's obvious for me it's obvious to me that these people are wrong it's not obvious to you because maybe maybe you don't have what it takes to see things as they really are you know so you just you just playing it safe you're like uh okay these people seem smart and they are older and people respect them so you know i must just follow them i cannot listen to my son because well he's my son you you don't recognize the fact that no i have something that many of y'all don't what i have something many people do not have that's the ability to see things as they are, you know. Just because I'm not um, treated the same way that these people are treated doesn't mean that I'm wrong. You see, if you're going to be right in this world, of course you're going to be treated like, a, like an outcast, you know. This world is built on lies, you see. That's the only way that it can exist. 
there must be too many lies that are told that is why people are attracted to lies that is why if i started lying to y'all guys i would start getting a lot of followers it's it's built on lies and manipulation and deception that is what the whole uh, thing is about you see you start lying to people and you realize how well they respond to lies you see you tell them the truth and realize that no it's like nobody really wants the truth you see people respond to lies so if to you it's about survival then you should realize that people really do respond to lies you see people res respond negatively to truth and it's always been that way and it will always be that way you speak the truth trust me you're getting crucified 100 percent. that's that's how it works but you shouldn't be afraid of getting crucified get used to it i mean yes at first it will hurt but you you get used to it you see it's train yourself to be strong don't don't allow yourself to be weak you know don't allow yourself to be weak don't be like ah you know i would actually be real but i live in a uh, in a village where people are like this you know if if i try to step out of the box you know they will you know though everyone will be against me like, no it's fine listen let me tell you something let me tell you something you're never escaping this matrix if you still care what other people think because that's that's part of the matrix that's how the matrix control you it's using other people if you are right you're right it means that you 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 you, you gotta dare to be yourself because you're right it doesn't matter if other people are judging it's fine let them judge you let them think what they think you know, I'm telling you, these people are being used. You need to become who you are, even if the whole world is against you. That's how you free yourself. You know, you, you freeing your mind from fear of being judged. Because it's, it's all an illusion anyway. You know, it's, it's, not, it's not as real as you think it is. It's just, it's an illusion. It's just something that's meant to control you meant to control people who are different you know they're supposed to make you feel like there's something wrong with you so now nah, be you even if it means that everyone is going to be against you even if it means that people are going are not going to understand it's fine even if they don't understand you it's fine be you you can't let the matrix win you see what you gotta understand is that you gotta free your mind I used to think that uh, I was like really trapped here physically, but now I see that I'm trapped here mentally. You can literally free yourself mentally and, and still be here physically, but not have a problem because you freed yourself mentally. You do not care what other people think of you, like for real. I mean, I don't know why people keep on telling me that, no, it's impossible. It's not impossible. There are things that I used to care about that I don't care about anymore. It is possible to train your mind to not care. You see? Just like if you are afraid of snakes and it's possible. Like if you're going to get someone who's a snake handler and to, to train you for maybe five years, it will be possible for you to not be afraid of snakes anymore. So don't lie to yourself and tell yourself that uh, it's impossible to not care. Nah, actually, it is possible to not care and you shouldn't. It shouldn't. Like it needs to get to a point where <laughs> even if your nudes got leaked né? you do not give like you don't care like it does because it doesn't matter you see it does like it's not a problem at all it's just that people are not you know what i mean people are just that that they've been conditioned to think a certain way so don't respect don't respect our conditioning because it's wrong we weren't supposed to be the way that we are right now. So be you. It, like no matter what. Like even if you got embarrassed in the worst possible way. I do not know what's the worst way that a person can be embarrassed in this world. You should not care. That, that's you winning. That's you beating this matrix. Because your problems really comes from caring. Especially about what other people think of you. You are not free. How free are you? actually like when you go out in public how do you feel you're anxious oh that person is looking at me that person is looking you're not free you're still in the matrix 
you are not free to be yourself. Your own body um, won't even allow you to do the things that you do, you want to do because you're not free. So you, you, you're not mentally prepared to do the things that you want to do. You're not free to, to, you, to be smooth and just do whatever you want to do and take this reality for a while or for a ride, you see? That's one of the biggest problems. So understand that it is actually okay being alone. If other people are going to judge you, if other people are going to hate you, it is all okay. Be alone and be yourself. There's no other way to win. There's no way you're winning if you are free to be yourself. If you are still trapped here, you're still trapped in this realm and you, you want to act like everyone else, trust me, you're not winning. There's no winning. You free yourself mentally. You just watch things happen and be like, hey, who cares? Oh, that person said this about me. I do not care. Oh, this person thinks this about me. I do not care. I'm alone, I got no friends, I do not care. Uh, I don't have a girlfriend, I don't care. I don't have a boyfriend, I do not care. It is what it is. I'm, I'll be fine. I'm not going to be weak anymore, you know? Because really needing other people is, is, is a sign of weakness. You are alone. That's, that's the truth. You've always been alone. So you shouldn't be with other people because you need them. Be with other people because, well, that's what makes sense. Not because you need them. You mustn't need other people. You must be able to enjoy your own company. In 2012, it was hard for me to enjoy my own company. Like, I, I was so used to being with other people, you know, because there, I took a gap year in 2012. I passed Grotov in 2011, took a gap year in 2012, and it was long because I was used to being with other people. So I was like, damn, like, what do I do? You know, you wake up in the morning, you don't know what to do. You have no one to talk to, you don't know where to go. So I'll just work out, work out, work out, and I'll get used to it. You know, get used to being alone. Like, if you teach yourself to be alone and, and be okay, you'll actually become okay. But it's, it's a process. Some of you are addicted to other people. And there's a huge problem. See, if you teach yourself to be alone, you'll get to a point where even when people want to be in your life, you, you, they will be bothering you. You won't be like, oh, I want to be with these people. Yeah, they will be bothering you. You feel like people are overstaying their welcome when they visit you. Because you are so used to being by yourself. You're so used to thinking, you know. Because if you're going to be alone, you'll also get used to thinking. And really because you are really alone... You need to be able to think in a way that's going to make you feel good. Because, well, you're alone in your own mind, anyway, you know? I was telling someone that if how you think controls how you feel, why not think in a way that's going to make you feel the way that you want to feel so that you will be exactly how you want to be? Why, why don't you do that? Because, well, you can. <laughs> I, gave, I gave this guy this example. I was like, bro, okay. Look, if right now, because we were walking, if right now there were some there were women that, like, in front of us, I was like, you know, if right now I wanted to get honey, started uh, picturing those the, the, the women naked, the women in front of us naked, I would literally get on, for real, like I would have tricked my own body, right? Thoughts, my own thoughts are that powerful, right? And then if I wanted to, if I wanted to think about something else, I would try to change, I I'll, I'll like, I'll try to think about something else so that I wouldn't feel horny anymore. Like, my mind is that powerful. If I want to feel like, like I'm strong, I can actually make myself feel strong by just thinking. Maybe I need to imagine a situation where I'll actually need to be strong, you know? 
Maybe I would need to imagine a situation where my life is in danger, you know. My own body will be ready, like my own mind will make my body ready. So I would be, like, I can trick, I can trick my, my brain. He said, I do have the power to trick my brain. So why, why do you want to think thoughts that are making you feel miserable all the time? Instead of selecting the thoughts that are going to make you feel good. Because here's the thing. You, you can even get sick if you are thinking the wrong thoughts. You see? You're making yourself miserable. You need to accept the truth. That, that's, that's very important. But then after accepting the truth, think the kind of thoughts that you want to think. got to understand what the heck is going on in the world. <clears throat> so that you don't make stupid mistakes. And then start thinking the thoughts that you want to think. So, if when you are alone, you just think the thoughts that you want to think and not really get bored, you know, train yourself. Train yourself to think the thoughts that you want to think. As you see, you, you, you have not been in control of your mind. You've even been trained to be in control of your mind it? since you were young. And that's, that's one of the worst things that were done to you. You've been programmed to worry about stupid things, worry about competition, you know. All these stupid things. They program you to worry about stupid things, you know. So that's how you enter this stupid matrix, you know. That's why everyone is insane. So you need to reprogram your mind. So that you get used to controlling your mind and not forget that you need to control your mind. Because the issue is that you forget. You realize that. Like you forget. So like if you're playing a song and there's this part of the song that's like your favorite, you like that part of the song. But then you always forget when the song gets to that part because you you let you you're not in control of your mind. You see? Yeah. You are too worried. You are thinking about a lot of things that you shouldn't be thinking about. So you're not in control of your mind at the time. So that part. So, so the song plays and then you, you come back into your, your own mind after that part has passed. And you're like, whoa, actually I wanted to hear that part. You see? So that's, that's the thing. You must be in control of your mind so that you don't forget to control it. It's not easy. It's, uh, it's something that takes a lot of work because you've been trained to, I don't know, to let your mind wander around. That's the problem. Like you've been trained to let your, your mind wander around. So it's going to take a lot of work, but you actually get used to it. And the same way that if you try to... If you try to hold your breath... For like three minutes, it will be hard at first, right? It will be hard. Like, whoa, yeah, that's impossible. Three minutes? And then you, if you keep on training yourself, you actually be able to. And realize that, oh, no, it's, it's not that hard. And then four minutes. You're like, oh, yeah, this is, it's possible. Five minutes. But it's a lot of work. It's it's not easy. You, you don't just do it like that. It, it's It's... It's, it's not easy. But you've got to be willing to do the work. You know, some people will just tell you that something is impossible, but they've never really tried to, to do it. You just, you just convince yourself that it is impossible. Now, it, is, it is impossible for me to control my mind. It's impossible for me to not uh, feel the ne negative emotions. No, it's not. You just haven't been doing the work. It's like if you go to the gym the first time, right? You try to lift some weights and you, you just can't lift them. It will feel like it's impossible. You'll be like, how? How do I do it? How, how can I lift? How can I lift? This weight, it is impossible for me. I'm not strong enough. But then, if you train and train and train, you'll be surprised that you are able to lift those weights. Especially if you're going to um, mentally prepare yourself to lift those weights. Because sometimes it has to do with your own mind. 
more than anything. Sometimes it has to do with your own mind. Because sometimes you limit yourself. Like you can limit yourself because of your own beliefs. Like I can't do that and then you can't do it. You know, most of the things that I was able to do, I was able to do them after, um, you know, after allowing myself to, to believe that it was possible. Now, the first time I, I rapped, because I couldn't rap, like everyone where I live thought I can rap, right? Because I loved hip hop so much. And, um, yeah, you know, I, when you love deep hop back then, people assumed that you can rap. And I was like one of the few people that love deep hop. I love deep hop when it wasn't cool to love hip hop. You know, I just loved it. It was just so good. So, uh, yeah, I loved it. I was like, damn. So everyone knew that I loved hip hop. Everyone knew in the village that, okay, that guy, he likes hip hop. At the time, I couldn't speak any English at all. I couldn't speak English. In fact, I learned English from listening to rap music. Like, I learned English from listening to rap music. And I didn't think I would be able to understand English at first because, you know, they didn't really, like, really teach us English at school. Like, there are a lot of people that I went to school with who can even, like, construct an English sentence. So I learned English from, like, listening to rap music. I didn't go to private schools. So, <clears throat> so I remember, you know, the first time when I actually rapped. I was supposed to rap with this other guy. I was still a Christian, you know, it's not really a Christian, but let me say I was still a Christian because I was still going to church. I was still young. So <clears throat> the guy approached me, I think or it was Monday or Tuesday and told me that, yo, man, on Friday, we need to rap. You know, there was going to be a youth service. So it was like, we need to rap. He was, it was like, people knew he, he, he can rap. It was not that good, but... He was like the only rapper in my village, so, you know, everyone was like, oh, Every, he's, he's the dope rapper because he was the only rapper. So when he approached me, I was like, ah, man, I'm just, I just agreed. The plan was that I was going to just hide from him the whole week because I wanted people to think that I'm a rapper. He approached me thinking that I was a rapper because well, people told him I was a rapper, but I, I, I didn't know how to rap. And on Friday, he came to me in the morning. He's like, yo, man. Remember, today is the day. I didn't have any rhymes written down. I tried. I couldn't write any rhymes. Because I was under pressure and I didn't want to disappoint anyone. And he said he told a lot of people that I would be rapping. I was like, you know what? Let me, let me do this. Let me write. And bruh. It worked. It worked. I wrote some rhymes. I was able to memorize them and did my thing and everyone was like whoa this nigga is 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 is, is, is can re can rap like that's that's impressive like I, I rap better than him and everyone was like whoa there's a new champ in the village and you know there's been so many things that i wasn't that that, that I was able to do for the first time after mentally preparing myself to do this thing, you know. Usually when I felt like I was under pressure, is it when you feel like you're under pressure and you must do something, you, you surprise yourself. See, there are a lot of things that you can do that you, do, you think you cannot do because, well, you, you think you cannot do these things. So trust me, it is possible to control your mind. It is possible, but you have to be committed to um, working on it every day. If you catch yourself thinking stupid thoughts, you're going to have to take, take back control. Why? Right, because it happens. So you find yourself thinking stupid thoughts sometimes. But no, keep on working on, keep on working on yourself. Keep on trying to think the, the, the thoughts that you want to think. You find that it's, you, it's, it's dope to live in your own head because there are no monsters anymore. Because 
you're not uh, populating your subconscious with monsters. <laughs> no, seriously, like people populate their subconscious with monsters and wonder why they they always find monsters in their heads. Like, nah, try try to create the kind of world that you want to create, you know, in your own head. Try to imagine the life that you want. Try to imagine yourself free from this thing, from this matrix, from this uh, disaster. Because this ain't good. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to tell y'all that uh, it's your fault that you feel the way that you feel. No, it's not your fault. You're at war and you must fight. You must fight because there's a lot at stake here. Yeah. You can't allow this matrix to, to control you to that extent. You cannot allow this matrix to turn you into a coward because you're not a coward. It's just that you've been trained to be a coward, so you behave like a coward. You're not a coward. So right now, work on uh, being okay, being by yourself, being okay, being misjudged, being okay, being misunderstood, you know? Shouldn't really care what other people say, what other people think. It's all good. Let people think what they think. Um, it should get to a point where even if other people have stupid opinions, you do not care, right? This doesn't mean that you do not address them, right? It just means that you don't care. You're like, okay, you got, you got, and you got that stupid opinion. Oh, let me show you what the truth is. It's ugly. Like you don't care what they think. It is what it is. Maybe they will wake up. There've been many people that I've debated with who didn't understand me when I was debating with them, but later on they realized that oh, I was right as well. I'm always right. <laughs> you know, people think that people who think they're always right uh, never, never change. They never grow. Like no, nah. I've always been ahead, man. So I do deserve to say that I'm always right because I've always been right. That's the thing, you know. I've, I care a lot about the truth. I'm not like other people. I'm not just trying to survive like that. I'll speak the truth even if it means that. I will be at a disadvantage. It matters to me that I speak the truth. I mean, sometimes I do lie when it comes to things that I don't really care about. Like, it doesn't really matter. But when it comes to things that really matter, I'm not going to be lying to people. I'm telling people the truth. You know, it's just that I'm not going to push them away with the truth. I'm just, I'm going to take my time. But everything that I'll be doing will be getting me closer to, you know, telling them everything that I need to tell them. It matters that you are able to speak your, your mind. You're not allowing fear to control you. You're not allowing the fear of being alone to control you. You got to have uh, confidence, you know, be confident because you're right. You don't have to be, you know, you don't have to be in fear. You're right. You are, you are absolutely right. And that's one of the reasons why you need to be alone because, well, people are wrong. So if really you see that... Uh, you don't really fit in. Don't don't be afraid to be alone. Don't be afraid to be single. You know, because most people ain't really gonna understand you anyway. Most people ain't really gonna understand you. You'll find yourself having to explain things that are just too simple. You're like, damn, why do they not understand what I'm saying to them? I don't meant to understand you, you're different. And it's cool, man, being alone, you know. It's cool being able to enjoy your own company, do your own thing, you know, being mysterious. You find that people don't really, people don't really understand you like that. But 
uh, you're mysterious. You're not like really trying to explain yourself. You're not trying to make other people understand you. You, you, you cool. You just want to live your life. Let people think what they think. You know, unless you know they confront you and say, "Hey, this is what I think," and you tell them the truth, and let them continue to think what they think if they're not conscious enough to understand you. This matrix wants your mind. It doesn't want anything else. It wants your mind. It's your mind that's valuable. Once they trap your mind, they got you. Once they put you in a state of fear, they got you. You see? Make you feel the way that they want you to feel. They got you. Show you things on the news that are going to make you feel the way they want you to feel. They got you. I remember I was talking to this other guy who's, um, who has schizophrenia, right? I was telling him that, dude, if you start seeing some things that you know shouldn't be there, you shouldn't even care. It is what it is. <laughs> like, don't try. I know sometimes when you tell people, something that can help them, they, they become angry because they feel defeated. It's like if you tell someone who is uh, who's black-pilled that it is actually possible for them to, you know, win when it comes to women. I mean, maybe not, maybe not, maybe it's not possible for everyone, I don't know, let me not even say that. But there are some people who just get angry at you, even if it's actually possible for them to win. And they'll just be thinking that, ah, nah, I cannot be loved, blah, blah. So even like people with schizophrenia it can feel that way sometimes. You're like, oh, it's possible for you to, to stop acknowledging these monsters that you're seeing. But it's a lot of work and you need to keep on training yourself. Like you, you, you need to try to stay in this, in, in this one state of consciousness where you are not in fear because it seems like these monsters really do appear when people are afraid you know the same way that when you're afraid you find yourself having dreams that make you feel more afraid you know, your subconscious mind is that powerful your subconscious mind is that powerful That's why if you take psychedelics and um, when you're not feeling good, uh, chances are your trip is going to be bad, right? You're going to be seeing monsters and you'll be surprised. Like, why am I saying this? It's because you're, you're not in a good state of consciousness. You are, you are afraid. And I think that's one of the reasons why they want us afraid in this matrix. They want us to be in this state of uh, scarcity. Like we, there isn't, like we, we can't win, you know. They, they torture us in a lot of different ways. And what's happening in South Africa, there's what we call load shedding. They'll cut the power off for like a couple of hours. That plays with our minds, you know. Sometimes they'll say, oh, um, the power will be off from 12 to 3 and then the power doesn't come back on. You're like, what? It's still out log now. Like, it's just playing with your mind. That's what, that's what is happening. They're torturing us. That's part of the plan. That's always been part of the plan. You know, create expectations so that they will hurt us, so that they will make us feel like victims. So I'm saying, take control of your mind because you can control this thing. You can control your mind. It's your mind. It's not anyone else's mind. It's yours. It's yours and yours alone. Do you really understand what I'm saying? Like really, really understand what I'm saying? You can change things for the better for yourself. You know, that's, that's what you gotta work on. There isn't really much to work on in this world. 
it's not about uh, becoming very rich you know having a lot of things nah not that it's, it's about being in control of your mind you know so that even if you are any in any state of consciousness you are still in control of your mind it must get to a point where even when you are dreaming you are in control of your mind you are no longer afraid you are no longer doing things that you wouldn't do in this world you see if i had dreams where you are doing things that you wouldn't do in this world and you wake up and be like why why did i do that, do that in that dream it's because you forgot that you wouldn't do those things right but then if you train yourself to become more of who you are you know even when you're dreaming that i'm not going to do these things like i never had a, I, it's been a while since i had a dream where maybe i had a child like in fact, since I became an internationalist, I never had a dream where I had a child, if I'm not mistaken. Why? Because even in my dreams, I'm an internationalist. And I know that. Like, yeah, I'm an internationalist. So, no mistakes. Even in my dreams, I know I don't believe in the Christian God or any God for that matter. Like, I. I'm not going to give my energy to anything. I don't even understand. Because that's how people are being controlled. You know, you give your energy away. So I don't give my energy away. It is what it is, man. So even in my dreams, I cannot really be manipulated. And that makes me think, well, if there is life after this, then I won't be manipulated because... I'll still be me. I'll still I'll be like, hey man. F F is horrible. I ain't, I ain't going back there, man. There's nothing they can do to convince me to come back to this trash. You know? And because I'm training myself to be okay with being alone, if it means that I'm gonna be alone in the afterlife, cool. But because the, the issue is that people like we need to consent to these things. I'm not just talking about uh, I'm not talking about life itself, but uh, what really gets to control us in a way, right? What gets to own us, what gets to manipulate us. The same way that Christians have to perform these rituals to, you know, to be, to be controlled by Jesus, give their lives to Jesus, you know. They don't, they don't know what they're doing. They don't know what kind of forces they're giving their lives away to. Like, they don't, they don't really understand these forces, but chances are they're giving their lives to forces that will manipulate them forever. And it's happening because they are allowing themselves to be manipulated. They're allowing themselves to be weak. So what's better is to, you know, trust nobody. Why should you trust anyone anyway? If someone comes to you and say, I got the truth, perform these rituals, say blah, 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 you'll be fine. Nah. I don't know anything to trust anyone. I got to trust myself because I know I truly want to be free. I know that I have my best interests at heart, so I can trust myself because of that. But I cannot trust other people because I do not know uh, why they think the way that they think, why they believe what they believe. You know, maybe they are being controlled. Maybe they are part of the matrix, a part of this prison that I found myself in. So I must trust myself. I must have the final word. You can't tell me this is in wrong. You can't tell me the things that are happening in this world are okay. They're not. It's obvious that they're not okay. It's just that 
if you've been brainwashed it's hard to see the truth you've been brainwashed so much that you just can't see certain truth but the truth is obvious the truth is obvious So be brave, man. Don't be afraid to be alone. Don't be afraid to be real. Thank you all, guys.